Hey everyone, Steven here with another SwipeFactory.com video review. Today's game is Tiny Wings, an iOS game developed by Andreas Illiger, which was released on the App Store February 18th, 2011. In Tiny Wings, you play as a little blue bird whose normal sized wings are over encumbered by his large frame, making them too weak to let him fly. So instead, you're stuck sliding that fat down hills. The goal of Tiny Wings is to achieve the highest score possible before the sun goes down by collecting coins and combining your skill points with nest multipliers. To get the highest scores in Tiny Wings, you'll need to start earning more of those skill points. These are points you earn from doing great slides and cloud touches and are both affected by your nest multiplier. And if you're in fever mode, <laughs> well, then you'll be playing with the big birds, baby. Link three great slides in a row and you'll be put in fever mode, which doubles the amount of skill points you earn. Fever time, baby, yeah! Oh, sh the other part to achieving a high score is through your nest skill multipliers. These are earned through completing a series of objectives that get increasingly difficult as you progress. Completing these and collecting new nests can become somewhat of an obsession at first. For one, it has the benefit of increasing your skill multiplier, which is how you will get the highest scores. And second, they act like little achievements that just look cool. Initially, growing your nest stacks is a fun way to keep you playing. That is, until they become ridiculously hard to get. Online leaderboards are there to show you how you stack up against the competition. Wow. Nine bagajillion. He must play this game a lot. The stages in Tiny Wings are randomly generated daily, which keeps the game feeling fresh. I always like to check in and see all the new pretty colors. The blue speed coins are nice if you need a boost after losing some momentum but can sometimes get you going too fast to control accurately, and in my opinion, do more harm than good to your overall score. Tiny Wings is a great casual game. It doesn't take up too much time to play, has great graphics, and you can squeeze a game in almost any time for a fun pick up and play session. And since most people have difficulty getting past the 8th stage, you can never really invest enough time to be disappointed. Tiny Wings requires only one finger to play, so no instruction manual is necessary, but just in case, one is provided anyway for those having trouble with the overly complex control scheme. Tiny Wings is addictive by nature and does have the element of just one more time, which is, of course, what she said. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steven, and I'll see you again soon for another video review here at SwipeFactory.com. Comment, rate, subscribe.